Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and the Arrowverse sort of as a whole, because we're going to be talking a bit about the crossovers that are coming up, but also about a potential ending date for maybe The Flash. So this is just some Q&A questions that I've sort of rounded up and we're going to talk about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so talking about the Flash crossover specifically, so we haven't had a Flash crossover or a Supergirl, Arrow or Legends crossover with just one other show since the musical crossover. That's a long time, that's been since 2017 in that season. So that was Supergirl season 2, that was the Flash season 3, so that's been a very long time. So I was asked this question, can Supergirl and Arrow have a one team up episode so I've linked in the flash to it because you know the flash hasn't had a crossover episode in a very long time so will there still be team up episodes that's where it links in so there has been a lack of crossover episodes recently obviously excluding the big crossover which they do every year and they're going to do crisis this year so the question is can Supergirl and Arrow have one team up episode and I think the plain answer is no, because it's Arrow's last season, they're going to want to focus on their show, and the crossover is obviously one episode out of that, and they've only got 10 episodes, so no, I don't think there is definitely going to be any crossover, there's not going to be anything to do, apart from obviously Crisis, because Crisis is definitely happening on Arrow. And it's leading up this season, so it's a shame. I would love a Supergirl Arrow crossover, but for the last few years, they sort of lacked on that. I have no idea why they haven't gone with it, because they are so popular. And the ratings would have definitely boosted on Arrow if they did that. And it's just a bit silly. I don't know why. I guess it's logistics behind the scenes, but tell me in the comments down below. Do you love these single crossovers? And do you want more? Because the musical crossover is my favourite crossover of all time, my favourite episode of all time in the Arrowverse, but also the Supergirl and the Flash crossover is one of my favourite episodes back in Supergirl Season 1 and the Flash Season 2. So, let me know. What do you think about that? Are you very upset like me that we're not getting sort of any? So, the answer to Supergirl and Arrow crossing over, no, it's not going to happen. But will there still be team-up episodes? And so there hasn't been a single crossover, that's not a big one since the musical. So will The Flash and Supergirl have a crossover episode ever again? And I think there is a high chance that we will. We've talked about behind the scenes, there's been talk about doing another musical crossover. But also the fact that Supergirl and The Flash, they're kind of similar and they are the two most popular shows. And the crossovers in the past have been a great success with the musical and with the original crossover when they met for the first time confirming Supergirl was in the Arrowverse back when it was on CBS so why the hell not? I know it's a long time it takes longer than filming a normal episode but the fans love it so I think there is a high chance that Supergirl and the Flash crossover rather than Supergirl and Arrow because Arrow's ending next season so I reckon there is a chance and maybe it's a musical again or maybe it's something completely different, maybe they link in somehow after Crisis on Infinite Earths. Say if, like in the comics, the Earths merge all the different Earths in the multiverse. So if Earth 38 merges and comes together with Earth 1, that is a new way to bring in Supergirl and the Flash so they can cross over more because it's easier. Like, you know, the Flash running over to Star City every now and again and things like that. So I think if after Crisis, it does merge, I think there's more of an opportunity, and I think it's just whether or not the people behind the scenes are willing to sort of go into the proper crossover territory and spend, I guess, a lot longer time than a normal episode. And in regards to what it could potentially be, I had this cool idea and we've been theorizing this for, you know, many years. What happens if they do a War Worlds crossover? I think that'll be brilliant. I love the idea of War Worlds and we get the introduction of Mongol who's never been introduced before and War Worlds, you know, it's a big thing. Even if you look at the animated shows, they actually do War Worlds quite a lot and it was actually referenced by mon -El back in Supergirl Season 2 that he had been there. So that means it actually exists in the Arrowverse. So I think that would be a great idea because in the comics, War World is a planet and it's a weaponized planet 
created by the war zones and mongol is the person in charge and so is bigger and sturdier than a dwarf star and basically it can obliterate earth it can destroy anything and so it's a movable planet essentially and so it's controlled by a system that links it all together so it's very hard to escape essentially and in the comics mongol actually stole it and then after Mongol actually managed to awaken War World after he stole it, he actually was fought by Superman and Supergirl, so that links it in in the comics. And so not even a Kryptonian, not even both Kryptonians, sorry, could actually destroy War World and stop by its weapons. So Supergirl broke it down in the comics, and so maybe they could link it in. And instead of Superman and Supergirl fighting in War World, it could be the Flash and Supergirl. I think that's a really great idea. And so the introduction of Mongol would be amazing, especially after Crisis. If we could do that, like later next season or the next season after that, I think that would be great. Or maybe they do that in the big crossover next year because, you know, how do you get bigger than Crisis? I say you do Dark Side Wars or you do War Worlds. I think obviously it's not as big as Crisis, but I think the idea and the scale that you can go is pretty massive. So I think this would be a great crossover idea. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you know what War World is? Do you like Mongol? Do you want to see it happen on a crossover or not? Or do you want it to be in the big crossover? Let me know down below. And in regards to another team up episode, there is Supergirl and the new show, Batwoman's. Because, you know, the dynamic they had in the crossover, although it was a very short amount of time in the crossover, there was a connection and I really, really liked it. And obviously there's been a mixed reception with Batwoman coming because of the trailers. I really liked the trailer. I didn't particularly like the new promo clip they released. I thought it was a bit kind of cringy not gonna lie but I really did like the trailer I'm really looking forward to Batwoman I'll be making videos on the channel especially if I like it and I really like Batwoman in the crossover and especially that dynamic with Supergirl so I think that's a good option for the future that we've got the option to cross over Supergirl and Batwoman because I thought they made a nice pair worlds find us as they said at the end of the crossover last year so yeah that's it for the crossover section of this video let's move on to talk about this last question and this last question is a big question and so they said what season slash year would the flash end so this has been something you know we've got questions for years well more recently because it's you know on season five and arrows obviously ending and we've had more questions recently because arrows ending you know the flash is the next show that has been on the longest so get this question a lot and in regards to the flash actually ending nah it's not gonna happen anytime soon because the flash is by far the most viewed tv show on the cw they give them the highest ratings and it's far beyond like supergirl's the next one but it's still quite a far way down from the big numbers that the flash pulls in so that's one option for why it's going to stay around because it is, you know, the flagship show of the CW, so I wouldn't worry about that. The next thing is, will it last as long as Arrow? I definitely think it will, and I think it's mainly just down to Grant Gustin and the main cast, if they want to stick around, you know, till season 10, do a Supernatural, you know, season 12, 13, I don't even know what they're on right now. So, the reason Arrow's ending is because Steven sort of grew a bit tired but he didn't like fall out with the character he sort of had just had enough he wants a break so he's down to come back in the future so i think it's more down to the fact of how long does grant still want to do it and i think it's definitely at least going to make it to season eight like arrow there is no way it's ending before arrow did and also i think it has the potential to go on forever if grant gustin wants to stay on forever so i don't think there is no way the CW is cancelling this. Well, there's no way that Supergirl is being cancelled either because they are the two highest rated shows on the network. So don't worry about them cancelling, but the idea of ending would be down to the main cast. You know, I think they could rotate in showrunners all around. So no worries if the showrunners leave because they've got a rotating sort of group that can definitely take over. So yeah, I think as long as the viewers still watching as they are and they're still loving it 
you know, no worries for the flash. It's not going to end anytime soon. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And in your comment, obviously leave your opinions on the stuff we talked about in the video today. But also, can you leave some theory suggestions or video suggestions that you want me to make in the next few days? That's the reason why, you know, daily uploads hasn't been a thing, you know, the last few weeks or so. Because it's really hard. There's no news, barely. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, check out my GoFundMe page for me going to Comic Con, everyone that helps me over there is going to be entered into a giveaway for exclusive San Diego Comic Con Funko Pop figures and those Arrowverse bags. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.